Hey, it's Adam from Collection DX, and today I'm here to talk about Libra Doku from the Saint Cloth Myth line. Uh, I know the Gold Saints have been super popular, so I wanted to get another one of the Gold Saints in here, and uh, we're just gonna dive right in. It is a bigger box, slightly, uh, very heavy. I suspect most of the parts and pieces in here are gonna be die-cast metal. So, uh, let's dive in and take a look. Alright, so what's in the package? For those that don't know, the Libra Cloth is a little unique in that for most of the TV series, uh, at least a good first half, we do not know who the original wearer of the Libra Cloth was, much like the Gemini Cloth, the Sagittarius Cloth. Uh, they seem to be unoccupied uh, with the original wearers. There's mystery around them. The Libra Cloth is unique in that it comes with a bunch of weapons. Within the series, Athena has sort of banned the use of weapons because it's considered unhonorable. And that same should fight with their skill. However, for those extreme circumstances where weapons are needed, the Libra Cloth can provide them. Uh, turns out, and this is a spoiler, so if you want to watch the series, stop watching the video and uh, go watch the series and come back when you're done. Uh, Doku is indeed actually one of the main characters in the series. Master, uh, he has taught Dragon Shiru everything he knows and helped him obtain the Dragon Cloth. Um, <coughs> this isn't really revealed until much, much later in the series. And we don't actually see uh, Doku in his young form. He's actually a little old man hanging out at this waterfall in China. And it turns out, as the story unfolds and we get into the OVAs for the Hades uh, Sanctuary and Infernos OVAs, that um, he, was he was granted the gift of long life to basically sit and babysit the um, portal over Hades' realm that's been sealed up. So he's just laying low as a little old man in disguise, and as the series ramps up in the beginning of Sanctuary, he leaves the uh, waterfall, shows up back at Sanctuary, and uh, through the course of events ends up back to his young self. So this is pretty much everything. You know, it's uh, vacuum formed, packed in. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in there, so I want to give you a close-up of what's in here, but real quick. Of course, you get the different trays, you get a manual, and they include a cape for them. But let me switch the lens here so I can give you a better look at this stuff. Alright, so um, of course they give you the shield. This is the object piece, basically when the cloths aren't being used, and how this particular cloth appears for a good majority of its appearance in the series. Uh, as they form a statue of the constellation they are aligned to and uh, they give you sort of a base to add the pieces on. That's what that is, an alternate head for Doku. Uh, here we've got a bunch of the weapons, a bunch of alternate hands, and from the weight of the package it feels like it's almost all die cast in there. The shields, the tridents, the swords, chains, and of course, this is the majority of the actual cloth. So let's start putting it together, see how it looks. And here's the Libra cloth in its statue mode. As you can see, it looks like the scales of Libra, with, of course, all the weapons kind of tucked into it. Um, Basically, they do a little bit of anime magic here. A lot of the parts for the weapons kind of shrink. You know, they do a little anime magic, so to speak, in the series. Um, but they do give you the full-size weapons as well here on the uh, scales. They have, like, the shrunk-down versions of things like the uh, Tongfars. Give you two of those. Give you two of the spears. One of the pieces just slid off, but they give you the tree. Basically, this just goes in here. 
Now the parts that have multi-segments like this, uh, the ends are die cast, the middle pieces are all plastic. They give you two of those, but as you can see, one of them is disassembled for the back. Uh, let's see, we've got the twin rods, they're calling them. Two of those, pretty much. And then they also give you a handle with the chain. This actually attaches to one of the scales, which become shields for the armor. Uh, it's sort of one of those Chinese yo-yos that they use. Basically, in the series, like I said, they've o I've only so far, I'm in the middle of the Hades storyline right now, uh, but to that point, I've only seen them use weapons twice. Uh, basically, once one of the bronze saints had been put in a near-death state and encased in sort of an ice cube that uh, was so cold it couldn't be broken, and so <coughs> the cloth kind of appeared, gave some of our heroes the chance to use the weapons to free uh, that particular character. And then during the Poseidon Saga, uh, in order to destroy the seven pillars that were holding up the ocean from Poseidon's realm, uh, they had to use the weapons on each of the pillars. And before I uh, get the armor on Dooku himself, or Doku, um, I wanted to show you the figure. Looks like it's a Gen 1 body. They've done three generations of these, and this is the earlier type. He's not as flexible in the chest area, which has usually been fine with the uh, Gold Saints because the design of the armor tends to limit what you can do with them in this area anyway. They tend to be full armor pieces that interconnect and don't allow a lot of flexibility there. Uh, figure is all plastic, all the way down to the ankles, which turn into die-cast metal. Uh, also included in the box, I may have misidentified it as an alternate Doku head, but it turns out, now that I've got it out of the package, it is a dragon Shiru head. Uh, Shiru, uh, as most of our Bronze Saints at one point or another do end up donning um, some of the gold cloths. Uh, Pegasus Seiya ends up donning the Sagittarius cloth at one point. Uh, dragon Shiru ends up donning his master's old cloth. Uh, the lever cloth. So they give you an alternate head for that with the big long dragon shiru flowing hair. Even got a joint in there so you can really kind of pose them with the flowing hair. So it's a nice touch and comes with all the usual articulation at this point. Legs rotate out. And highly flexible characters. Whoa, look at that. Leg popped off. It does go right back on. Well, that's the first time I've had a figure do that, so pretty much what I've come to expect from the uh, St. Cloth Myth line. This is Doko in the Libra Cloth. Uh, he's uh, pretty impressive, though with all the accessories, even the shrunk down version, he was incredibly finicky to get outfitted. Uh, of course, as you can see, the finished result is spectacular. Um, die cast. How much of them is die cast? Yes. Uh, basically, this little plastic nub back here, the shields, and the part where the chest meets the waist where the front cod piece and the side hip pieces connect is plastic. Everything oh, in the helmet. Everything else is die cast metal. Um, the shrunk down version of the weapons are here. These are the full size, like those. I'm supposed to expand to that. These are the swords. These are all die cast metal, by the way. So as you can see, it's beauty. Uh, Dooku generally does not wear his helmet, however. This is how it usually appears. Now, they did give us a cape, and I don't have it set up right now. But, uh, I just haven't dug it out of the package yet. But it's a lilac color, typical for the uh, Gold Saints. But honestly, if, as I'm watching the series, very few of them uh, actually wear the cape for very long. It's kind of a showpiece when they first appear, and it's one of the first things generally to go away. But, uh, 
It's a very nice looking piece. Again, uh, in between takes here to remove the head, I ended up having a whole fiasco. Basically what happens is the shrunk down weapons here do come out. I'm not going to tinker with them right now. Um, once you kind of get him set up the way you want him, he's gonna, you're going to want to leave him alone. He's, he can be the parts can tend to go flying when you're least expecting it. Uh, I also set up the uh, Chinese yo-yo. Chain is die cast metal, or metal at least. Uh, good looking figure. Glad I have it, but honestly I'll probably be displaying it in the cloth mode mainly. Uh, I like it. Um, the design kind of grew on me. I wasn't a big fan of it at first, but then, you know, as much like a lot of the series, once you get kind of pulled into the story, it, uh, you know, you get kind of hooked. So, uh, I like it. I give it a thumbs up. Uh, this came courtesy, of course, from our usual St. Cloth Myth sponsors, Angles. Thanks to them. And uh, keep an eye out. i got another one coming in a few weeks for you. But I'm not telling. Until next time, I'm Adam.